Uh, Jason, congratulations on being selected into the California Wrestling Hon Hall of Fame. Thanks, Alan. Honored to be here. Appreciate it. Yeah. I have a few questions I'm going to ask you about your wrestling career. Um, I'd like to start off with what individual had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? Yeah, I would say um, what individual? It's hard to say exactly because something I'm done talking about in my speech later is I feel like the wrestling community is so deep and extensive and you have kind of your core unit. In addition to that daily work and routine, you also get all these people kind of in the fray on the outer circle who really influence you and do a lot, whether it's through a one day clinic or through a couple meetings here and there, they come in and out of your life and, you know, really influence you almost just as much as the daily crew. So, um, but I think when it comes down to it, definitely my dad. Um, I feel like he was my wrestling guru since day one. You know, was leading me on and off the mat, making sure I had the right value system and characteristics, yeah. and, and also just on the straight coaching side. And um, he sacrificed a lot for me, so I would definitely say my dad, John Welch, would be the biggest oh, influence. Did, Jason, did you have a wrestling idol growing up? Yeah, a few. And I think that's yeah important to you know figure out where you are in the lineage. So I think as a as a Bay Area kid, I always thought that the Abbas brothers were such technicians and just kind of overall um, stellar athletes and competitors. So definitely as a kid, looked up to the Abbas brothers um, and uh, watched all their matches and their technique. And so they've been a, a big sort of like uh, if we want to talk like wrestling idols from young age, yeah. you know, that was something for me. I looked up to them like oh wow, look what they're doing, look how they're doing it. That's why I want to be like uh, Jason what personal uh, attributes characteristics ability whatever co contributed most to your success in wrestling mm -hmm. yeah I would say um, I would say the most important thing to my success with that would be um, my my passion for learning Honestly, that's why I always loved about wrestling was getting to learn new techniques and try to use those against other people and testing my skill versus your skill, right? For me, it was less of, wasn't always like, um, you know, such a physical battle as it was like almost like a martial art. Like here's my new technique versus yours or does this work or not? And then getting to travel places to different coaches and people and learn new stuff was always super fun for me. So I think that's what um, led to a lot of my success yeah. down the road was getting to continue to have that passion for technique and learning and just being a, a continuous learner my whole life. Very good. Uh, what is the most outstanding memory or memories of your career in the sport of wrestling? Oh man, um, I would say the most, some of the biggest memories, it's kind of funny you say that, are the smallest ones for me. So it's not as much like, yes, it was fun to like, you know, win Big Tens or become an All-American, that kind of stuff. But when I look back at it, like, what do I like, if I'm sort of daydreaming, what, what comes up? And it's like the long bus rides, you know? Yeah. Uh, I remember a bus ride going through, I think from Michigan State back to Northwestern in Chicago. And we were in like a, a blizzard and we almost crashed the bus. It was totally sketchy. Everyone's <laughs> yelling in the bus and the driver's kind of crazy. And um, it's like those kind of like crazy yeah. fun moments. Like people are studying in the backseat, like people are watching TV um, that like really stand out to me. So um, as much as like the wins and losses were fun and hard, and, and that was important like the the most important memories to me were the people and, and some of the random moments with your best friends and teammates okay then I'm gonna narrow it down <laughs> more throughout your wrestling career what is the single most memorable match or event ah okay cornering me um so I would say uh probably winning big tens my senior year that was something that uh, was really kind of, uh, you know, on my shoulders. I'd come out as a freshman at Northwestern and taken second place at Big Tens that year as a true freshman. Um, so I, was, I kind of felt like as a young kid, I was 19, I was like, oh, I'm almost there. I'm no problem next year. And then next year, I think I took um, third. The year after that, I took second again. So I was like, oh my God, am I ever going to get this goal? You know, I've been right there. So my senior year, winning Big Tens um, was uh, an important sort of accolade for me. And uh, um, I won either in overtime or in the last second, I can't remember, but I was like very excited yeah. and just uh, wow. relieved in a way. And um, yeah, so that was probably the, the biggest excited. match for me. 
What made you get involved in the sport of wrestling? Um, I mean, going back to my dad, he's always been involved with the sport. So he wrestled uh, growing up, and then as soon as he graduated high school, he started coaching his younger brothers, and he was involved um, at Pleasant Hill Wrestling Club for a long, long time, and then at Los Lomas High School still to this day. So um, he's been a lifelong coach mm -hmm. and community member, and uh, I feel like as a, as a child, I was sort of just placed on the side of the yeah. like, oh, here's your babysitting yeah. right there, you know? So, um, so really he got me involved yeah. in the sport and it's just been sort of like um, around yeah. always for me. And, and, and finally, what would you like people to remember about you when your career is over and... Mm -hmm. When it's know? all said and done? Um, I would say I would like them to remember uh, hopefully, hopefully, my heart as a wrestler, right? Always being out there and being courageous with uh, willingness to like attack and try things and trying to show my creativity and scrambling out there, right? So um, heart, creativity. And then I think uh, hopefully um, just uh, being a good person, being kind, you know? I feel like uh, it's been really important to me to uh, you get out on a wrestling mat and you battle and fight. And as soon as that's done, you respect one another yeah. and you can be good friends and build lots of relationships through that community. Um, so I um, mean, hopefully when people, when it's all said and done, I walk away, it's like Jason was a, a killer athlete yeah. and, a, and a good friend, you know? That's what I hope. Uh, that's terrific, Jason. You know, uh, again, I want to congratulate you on your being selected into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thanks, Alan. Yeah.